Welcome today I'll be talking about how to find a research position particularly for foreign trained healthcare professionals where exactly you can find these particular positions and what are some of the specific requirements. I think this is a very important video based on the questions I've been having in the comment section. If it's your first time just tuning into the channel, I would like for you to hit subscribe as you join and you become part of the community. In this series, I'm going to recommend to you specific job boards or specific areas where you could get research position. Um, in this particular series, we're focusing exactly on Canada and I'll go nitty gritty. The first one would be Association of Universities and Colleges of Canada called the AUCC and the AUCC has its website. You have the links in the description um, below and what the AUCC does is that they provide a comprehensive list of Canadian university where you could get um, research positions from these universities as an international medical graduate. Um, you would visit this website individually and check on these different locations that I have included in the description and that will be a great opportunity for you to be able to get something. So and under this AUCC there is other positions there that we will refer to as being academic positions. If you're looking for such kind of positions the link in the description and these academic positions are usually well flutter with international positions and job opportunities where you could pick on a research position across you know Canada in any part of Canada and you're able to work and you can filter the researches by location based on your area of preference and where exactly you would like to do. The number two is going to be the Association of Postdoctoral Scholars called the CAPS CAPS and the link is in the description. It's an organization that supports postdoctoral scholars in Canada. So if you're postdoctoral person and you did your educational credential and show that you are a doctorate degree person then you completely qualify for this position and they offer resources and you know job specifications as well that you could apply as a postdoctoral scholar usually they'll give you the appropriate paperwork that you could apply but if you have any issues we're here to help you and we can support in as much or as little as you'd want us to get involved and um they also have positions that are open all around canada depending on your province of you know choice and what is available at the moment please check out the description and just see if um, it's going to be a best fit for you number three on this list will be canadian association for graduate study called cage and it's c-a-g-s cage is an organization that promotes graduate education in canada so if you're an international student and you want to study in canada remember on this my video where i talked about universities that offer a very low tuition fee and they offer postgraduate work permits at the end as a result they're also a part of cage and that doesn't just limit to these universities but the lim there are other universities as well that you want to check out so they usually offer resources and job boards specifically tailored to post doctoral positions and cage as well they provide information about research opportunities fundings job boards for graduate students so you don't need to be a doctor you can be just after your your graduate degree so after your master program or any program that you have after your bachelor's degree four you've got what we call my tax and my tax is a national research organization that connects students and researchers with industry partners you remember when you want to look for a master program and people are st and, and then the university says oh you need to have a refer you need to have seen a professor and talk to my tax would be that go organization um back here img team we're also happy to make some connections and reach out to some um, professors at the university to see they could support you for your master degree as your mentor based just on what you're looking for and if there is fit and if we have on our database someone that fits um, that particular search that you want we are able to make that connection for you so my tax being a national organization they provide information um, about various research internships and funding opportunities at different level and even when you just come here as a newcomer for those of you who are already in Canada you can be able to get lots of funding from my tax my tax is really great they give um, you know check sizes depending on whatever you're asking um, and it can really be grateful and it can support you and then you have the government job board so government job board in Canada often have research positions that are available the link is in the description please you want to check it out to see what they've had at the moment and the job boards organizations are usually linked to the national research council that we we'll see um, here the NRC 
is a Canadian National Research Council that usually have lots of job opportunities for um, newly arrived immigrants who have a postgraduate degree. So if you have a master's degree, or you just got your master's and you're here, or you just even got your master's here, then you'll be eligible and these people can always support you and you can always have positions. There's also another institution called the Canadian Institute of Health Research which also exists and offer job positions. So I'm just gonna rush you through these different websites as you can see. So um, right here, as you see on your screen, you have the Canadian Association and Research Ethics Board. And there are usually um, lots of opportunities that happen within this and you wanna employment opportunities and see what is available at the moment. And you see if it's a great fit for you and you apply. Um, not only that, you also have other opportunities that are offered by the Canadian Science Policy Center. And these are also great sites for you to explore and see um, the offer and the positions that they have as well. They're usually positions that are open all year round. You just want to check on it and be sure that um, you're submitting something necessary and that you can be a part of the program. Not limited only to that, you also have right here um, this other a specific one called the Canadian Association of Research Administrators. This one would be a very great fit for most international medical and you can register here. You can see there's an event that's going to happen um, between November 15 to 17. You want to check this out. I have left the link in the description so you could apply and be a part of that event as this could be a good resource for you to network. Um, and then moving on, you have the Canadian Institute of Health Research. So here as well, there's always different institutions and funding opportunities um, that um, occur and you can always check on it depending on what you're uh, looking for. If you're trying to apply for funds, you could always apply here. And there are several funding programs as you can see right here and then there's different institutions as well. So all these are opportunities that are there. Opportunities also exist with the National Research Council of Canada, as I said earlier, and they're always, you know, having open positions right now. As you can see, there's jobs opening, depending on what you're looking for, you can type in there. And as you can see, there's different job opportunities at different levels. And um, just go for the ones that you think you actually qualify. I have actually had people who have applied for these positions and they have had the job opportunities. So you wanna see which of them is most recent. As you can see right here, they are located all over Canada. Going back to my tax, my tax is really um, here. They fund postdoctoral students and not only postdoctoral students, but they also fund students as well. And um, they also fund little businesses as well and not pro for profit organizations. They've been providing to more than 6,000 um, participants all across the world since 2019. So that's pretty, pretty good data right there. And then you also have the Canadian Association of Graduate Students. These are also really important opportunities, you know, for international students to mingle with other students and to learn and get you know that Canadian experience and and without neglecting and without saying that um, you know other sources are bad there's also you know LinkedIn where you could go there you could reach out directly to people in your specific department that you're looking at and talk directly to them people are usually very responsive I have tried on myself to connect with some top officials and it has worked just through LinkedIn um, you want to reach out you don't want to shy away there is also um, Glassdoor which are also other research opportunities and places where you could find postings there's also Glassdoor there is also you know research gate and all these other positions that you could potentially apply for and not only limited to that there's other institution again as I'll continue to give you other information this um, health research Institute that are offering positions and many of these hospitals in Canada offer research positions for um, any foreign healthcare professional be you a nurse be you a researcher, a medical laboratory technician, a physician, um, a specialist physician, you can have opportunities here. And for instance, if you browse, you will check on um, Sunnybrook Research Institute. There's usually opportunities there. I've left the link in the description. Please don't shy away from checking it. Just check it and you might be able to find something. There's also something that we call the research job boards. Research job boards, they, usually, they utilize um, job boards and websites that are dedicated for research positions. So they bring all research positions on one position and you can be able to go there and access and see what is available for you. And, you know, for example, there is a Canadian Association of Research Administrators 
curator jobs positions that you could find right here on research job board so you want to check the link in the description and you want to go to a career and see what opportunities they actually have there for internationals and you could apply for this position even being right in your home country you don't have to shy away um, it is called the canadian institute of health research and if you go to their career page check on the link go to their career page and check and you will see some opportunities that are currently open if it's a great fit for you you can apply and if you need some support in terms of cover letters you could let us know we could talk to you and see if you're a good fit and if you're a good fit we'll be able to give that um, to you there's other um, things like medical journals and medical journals do have opportunities as well they're always looking to hire there is Canadian Medical Association journal that offers also career opportunities for international and there's also professional associations like you know the association of faculties of medicines of canada and the they have a career page and they're always constantly looking for internationals. Canada is one of that, those countries that does not discriminate and they're very open to welcome diversity and inclusion in terms of everything. And it's a really a very beautiful thing because no one is going to be pushed behind because of where you come from and the way you speak. But it's all about what you're bringing to the table and how you're contributing. This is really important. There's research fellowship programs as well that exist. And, you know, I talked about it in one of my videos that I talked about scholarships, but there's a Vignette Canada Graduate Scholarships. All these um, institutions and different bodies offer scholarships for internationals as well. And then one of the, you know, the very important ones that you should never forget will be contract research organizations. I started off my career when I moved um, some years back to Japan by working in a contract research organization. And there is several of them, like there is this um, one called INCR Research. Now it is known as um, Sinews Health. And if you check on their career page, I feel like they have lots of jobs there and job openings are always opening all the time. So if you're an international medical graduate that just immigrated to Canada, then that could be a position for you to check. And then you have the Canadian Foundation for health improvement grant and funding opportunities and again i've left the link in the description you'll be able to check out and go on your career page and check on the offers and the opportunities that they all have there so in all these are all opportunities that exist a lot of people don't know about but that if you do your due diligence and we'll be able to answer and support you in as much as we can or just joining this channel or watching for the first time and you're getting this information please do not shy away from hitting the subscribe button um share and we will be with you in the next series. Bye-bye.